Hey there. Okay, I'm super excited about giving today's sales tip because it feels so good outside. I haven't done a live video outside in a second and I love to be out here. So it gives me another vibe, another another set of energy that's just like, whoo. But for those of you that have been tuning in, I put out a post and hey, how are you? And I was making a comment that, you know, one of the mistakes that you guys do on sales calls is that you don't seize that opportunity to get the money. I know so many of you, especially when you're doing, you know, high profile uh, client work, when there's like a lot of moving parts and details, you're like, okay, um, let me send over the proposal. Let me do all of these different things. And you don't get the money on the call. And a, a master closer is going to make sure that they see the opportunity to get the money ASAP now I'm not just talking about with any kind of sales call I'm talking about a sales call where the person is super excited about working with you they're ready to pull the trigger they've exercised due diligence they've been following you they looked you up they went to your website they checked out your testimonials to see if they were legit and you know what I'm talking about it's, it's one of those things where you're on the call and the person is super excited and amped up about you and even though there really should be a sales process now I'm not super duper uh, anal meaning that you should have an actual script but you should have some type of guideline a path that you go down to close your clients but sometimes you need to deviate from that structure it all boils down to a primary mistake that most people make when it comes to selling and that's just that you talk too much so you have this thing where you talk too much about your products your services and what you do but then you also can, may suffer from talking too much and you're not striking while the iron is hot and I want you to think about it have you ever been on a call and a person is like I want to do this and I want to do this now and your subconscious says we only been on the phone for about like maybe 18 minutes I know they're ready to do it but I don't want to make it look like I'm anxious for the money I want to make sure that I do this in a professional manner I want to take my time and what happens is, is in the middle of that you are connecting you continue to talk you continue to say things you may even continue to say things about your process only because they kind of let you know what they like and what they want and you think oh my god this is a good thing I should keep talking I should keep on telling them something believing that it's going to work to your benefit but it ends up working to your detriment because I'm gonna be really honest with you there are certain personality types where you may need to give them, you know, steps one through five. There are some people that have personality types where they're more like, you know, whoo, just get me excited and tell me a couple of facts and I'm going to sign on the dotted line. But at the end of the day, more data for people ends up being detrimental because people begin to calculate the cost they begin to calculate the time they begin to evaluate the experience and draw conclusions and to be honest with you if you've got somebody moved to purchase especially at a high price point what you don't want to do is talk so much you talk them down or you talk them out and maybe that one area that you all were speaking about on the sales conversation had them on fire but this next thing that you're talking about it may not necessarily have them on fire it may not make them feel bad but it may be like oh okay that's cool you know that's nice that you do that too and then automatically there's that energy shift and you know what I'm talking about where you've been on a call and you've been like oh my god they're excited I'm excited they're getting ready to do this this is beautiful this is the easiest sale ever and you keep talking and they keep talking and you keep talking and they keep talking and then when it gets to the point to do the exchange there's that okay great I'm gonna do everything just send me over the contract send me this stuff and then flatline they they don't do it they don't turn in anything they don't sign up they don't pay they go ghost or they take all day to do it what you don't want is when somebody is ready is to allow time and circumstance to get in the way I remember some one of my clients was talking to somebody who was ready to go and she was like man August you told me to just get the money right then and there she didn't do it and they just kept talking and talking and girlfriend chit-chatting and a message popped up on her phone through instant messenger somebody said something and she was like oh my god you know we just been talking girl I gotta go my such and such just sent me a message it's an emergency uh, just send me everything and I'll take care of it and that emergency was so substantial that that person was like, mm, 
I'm going to have to wait to invest. And so, you know, I'll use something that's very simple because a flat tire is not going to stop somebody from investing in something that's like a 2K or 5K. But maybe, I don't know, a transmission, uh, finding out your car was total. I don't, whatever it is, period. We don't, I don't have time to go through all of the different examples. But the point is this. When a person decides to invest in their dream, no matter what level you want, beginner, middle, upper, there's always going to be some friction. There will always be tribute, uh, some type of turbulence to get in the way of a person taking that next leap of faith, that next jump. It never goes anywhere. And if you allow time and space to come in, something will. Murphy's Law, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Something will pop up and they will say, hmm. I really should take care of this first and I'll get back with you and then they're in this spiral of starting over. It would be nice if just everybody had racks on deck ready to invest and there are quite a few people like that but most people have to find the money especially since we live in a high debt society. That's what keeps America going around, right? Won't go on a tangent into another conversation. But the bottom line is, is if they would have invested with you to get that thing for their business, their mindset would have been different. They would have been like, oh my God, I just invested. This happened. You could have had two seconds to coach them through the fact that this is your dream. You're going to be empowered. Don't think from that perspective. Get out there, still get the money, make it work. And you've already paid. That just That's just even more uh, energy that I'm going to put into making sure that I get you everything that you need to get you to your next level to get you those more get you more clients you need more leads no problem whatever it is that you're supposed to do and that's the difference so talking too long could allow things that you have no control of to get in the way of the sales conversation for those of you that are following me on Facebook I'm just checking the time I'm doing good it's well under 10 minutes for those of you that are following me on Facebook then I want to welcome you to join Business Mastery. You can just search it, Business Mastery. And I'll even put it in the link depending on which social media platform you're on. If you're watching me on YouTube, LinkedIn, or wherever else, go and come find me on Facebook. If you want to see a little bit more of me and understand my philosophies and my methodologies and get a chance to actually interact with me, then I want to welcome you to join a community where you can get the real deal where there's a lot of giving where there's a lot of love there's a lot of information and a lot of time for you to grow and develop around other like-minded entrepreneurs in a highly engaged atmosphere so I'll put the link in the bottom I'm looking forward to seeing you all in the business mastery group where it's going down and our hot topic of course for this month happens to be all things centered around sales but I'll be giving you even more juicy nuggets centered around mindset and strategy anywho you guys enjoy your Sunday this has been awesome thank you for everybody that was able to join me live I'm gonna get out of here bye